good. All right, shalom, so so shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, brothers from the Sakar Philly Church, special guests, Asma from the Dallas camp. Hello. Okay, Lord brought us here to, you know, teach the word, push the word out. As y'all all know, um, we're at the end of an age, right? We're at the end of an age, and there's a lot of and there's a lot of things going on around the world. <clears throat> and uh, matter of fact, give me First Timothy six and twelve. Kick off, kick off with that, right? And yo, know, Satan is cracking down on a lot of brothers uh, in a bad way, man. Right? You got brothers. Matter of fact, give me that in Luke eight. Give me, give me that in Luke eight and eighteen. Yeah, we we gonna start off with that first. We got a lot of a lot of brothers who brothers may have thought to be at a, uh, been mighty in the scriptures, uh, right? They was bringing it out, you know. Oh, damn, he's a good priest of puller. Mm -hmm. Now he's a damn bug up, right? And you will, and you will have that. Your house I actually prophesied about that. So what we need to do, we got to keep that mental fortitude, man, and rebuke Satan. Cause and this is around the Passover season, mm -hmm. right? This is around Passover. Every time Passover come around. Somebody gets sifted out. What happened? Judas got sifted out of Passover. Mm -hmm. Passover, matter of fact, maybe the week before Passover, Judas got sifted out. Now the, sift, now the sifting didn't really end until he betrayed Yahweh Shah. But maybe two weeks, a weekend, he was like, yeah, I'm just going ahead and betray him. He got sifted out at that moment, man. So it is a common thing for brothers to get sifted out right before the Passover. So that's why around this time, I know me personally, I start, I start trimming a lot of things off in Passover. You know how when you, you know, when you're working out, let's just say it's your bulk season. So you you just gonna amp up on the protein and all of those things. But then when it's time to uh, 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 shed down, to lean out, what are you gonna do? You're gonna cut certain things off. Me personally, when it's around Passover, I cut certain things off, bro. Come, come. Cause I know this is a life and death situation. So that's what we got to do. But, but give me that Luke 8 and 18. Yeah, that's the book of Luke chapter 8 and 18. Uh -huh. Take heed, therefore, how you hear. Mm -hmm. For whosoever hath to him shall be given. Whosoever shall have to him shall be given, go ahead. And whosoever hath not. And whosoever hath not, go ahead. From him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Even that which he seemeth to have. So you may have a brother out there. You think he's, you know, mighty in the scriptures. You think he's on fire? That's what he seemeth to have. And the Lord is going to take that away. So that little thing that he even seemed, because what does the word seemeth that wall? He seems. Mm -hmm. That means that it's questionable. Right, right. He might not, he might not have it. Right, right, right. Where is saying that what he thought or other people thought to have, that's even going to be taken away. So just a little, this little oil that you that you thought you had, that even got taken away. So what does that let you know, man? As you know, stay in your lane, stay humble, right? And keep praying to the Lord, man. Right. All right, go ahead, bro. Yeah, this is 1 Corinthians 10 and 12. Go ahead. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed lest he fall. You got it. Yeah, so basically, man, if you even if you feel like you're good in the scriptures, like you built up in the spirit, you've been praying, you've been fasting, meditating like you're supposed to, and you think that you stand, still you got to take heed, man, because... The slightest mishap of your feet in, in this walk of truth, you know, because this is this is like a correlation on walking on tightrope, right? Like you, when scripture say in uh, Ephesians 5, you got to walk there circumspectly, right? That means to walk in a straight line, you know? So the slightest mishap of your feet, you know what I'm saying? That's you falling out the truth and that's your ass, man. Right. You know, so even when you think you stand, you got to take heed lest you fall, you know? God, that's it on that? God, God go ahead, bro. God. 2 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. 1 Timothy 6 and 12. 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Mm -hmm. Fight the good fight of faith. See, that's what the Bible says. Fight the good fight of faith. And get 1 Corinthians the 9th chapter. And start around like... Mm, start around like 24. So the Bible says to fight the good fight of faith. What we're in is a battle. We're in a fight. And what do you do in the fight? You dodge and you, you dodge and you weave. Right? You throw punches. Right? You take you, you get hit. Yeah, exactly. You get hit too. But what you gotta do, you gotta endure to the last rounds. Right? You kinda balance yourself out, right? You don't overwork yourself. That's all that that's that that's comparable to this truth, man. Cause even Paul likes to liken this unto a fight. 
All right, go ahead and read that. Yeah, this is 1 Corinthians 9, starting at verse 24. Go ahead. Know you not that they which run in a race run all? Yeah, don't feel like you that they that run in a race run all. Go ahead. But one received the prize. But one received the prize. Everybody runs in a race, but only one of them receives a prize. And guess who's trying to take that prize away from you? Satan's trying to take that prize away from you, right? And he, so he can high, high five his yeah. other demons. Right. See, man, we got this nigga, right. Right. right? This nigga never was it. Yeah. See? So, and when you're in a race, what do you got to do? You got to be mindful of everything that's around you. Yeah. You got to be circumspect, right? You got to know when to to uh, to uh, to uh, crack in that second gear. You got to know how to be temperate when, you, when you're running a race. So this is a race, right? It's not a... Uh, what's that? What's that called? A fifty-yard dash, where you just fully, fully uh, uh, sprinting the whole entire time, right? So, right, right, exactly, bro. So you got to know when to turn it on and turn it off, and some people don't know how to turn it on and turn it off. Go ahead, Doc. It says First uh, Corinthians nine twenty-four. Know you not that they. Which run in a race, run all, mm -hmm. but one received the prize. And what's the prize though? The crown, right? Which is the kingdom, go ahead. So run that you may obtain. See that run that you may obtain. But how are you supposed to run, right? You're supposed to run with perfect balance, man. You're supposed to know when to, uh, to turn it on. You're supposed to know when to turn it off, right? The scriptures tell you a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. You ain't finna run the whole race at the same pace, right? You're, you're just the, all sports. You're not about to play all sports at the at, 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 at the same pace the whole time, right? Like for I I play basketball, right? You got basketball players uh, in this camp, right? We ain't finna be playing defense the whole entire time, but we know when to kick it up though, right? We know when. All right, look, I got I got to score this amount of points. Now it now it's time to kick it up. The same thing with shoot. Now is is the time to kick it up, but you gotta still know how to balance yourself, though, man. Go ahead. It says uh, verse twenty five, and every man that striveth for the mastery mm -hmm. is temperate. See, it's temperate. You gotta be temperate. Go ahead. In all things. Keep going. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. Right. You got some people down here to receive a corruptible crown. Now, what does that mean? Something that something that's tangible. Something that perish. Go ahead. But we an incorruptible. But we an incorruptible crown, right? Cause you got guys like LeBron James, Floyd Mayweather, all them guys. They come. They're competing to win a corruptible crown. See, Paul is talking to um 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 uh, Greeks, man. Everybody's that was in the Greek uh, way of thinking. So he had to compare it to some type of uh, uh, some type of Olympic sport, right? So the Olympic sport that he was likening it to was a race. People enter to a race to win a corruptible crown. But Paul's saying, us, we're competing in a competition for an incorruptible crown, man. Which is what? The kingdom of heaven, right? The glorified bodies that come with it. Because that's incorruptible. That's never going to fade away. Go ahead, Art. It says, uh, verse 26, mm -hmm. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. See, not as uncertainly. You got a lot of... <laughs> Got a lot of guys just running uncertainly. Oh, I don't know why, if I can defend this. I don't know if I can defend it. So why the hell are you running for it? If you're not certain of it, you got to be certain. If you're not certain that this is the truth, or you're not certain on this is the doctor, so why the hell are you in it then? If you're not sure you're going to win it, so why the hell are you in it then? Like the law said, go home. Stay home. That's in Deuteronomy 20 chapter. So if you're not sure, you got to stay the hell home, bro. Unless that unbelieving spirit rubs off on everybody else. Paul said, yo, you gotta read that part. I forgot that I was in there. You gotta read that part again, bro. Yeah. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 26. Like, like that really just hit me, bro. Right. You gotta read that again. It says, I therefore so run, uh -huh. not as uncertain. Not as uncertainly. So you telling me you're gonna enter into a race saying, I'm gonna lose, but I'm gonna still run? No. no, no. you just wasting time. Another person could have had that spot, which. The Lord is into replacing people too. The Lord does that in the in a in a hot second. You saw how fast the Lord replaced Saul. Most I ain't waste. No, Saul was probably on the throne. What like maybe who knows? Maybe like two two years, bro. He said, ah, nope, nope. I, I'm, I'm replacing him. 
replaces him with, Dan, uh, with, uh, with David. Shoot, the most I replaced Eli. As much as a righteous guy he was, but he wasn't he wasn't uh, rebuking his sons. He re he replaced Eli with uh, Samuel. Samuel was a young brother in the spirit, and he was zealous for the Most High. So the Most High will bring a brother that's super zealous for the Lord and come replace your ass. No matter you've been in the truth for seven years, ten years, fifteen years, you can get replaced by somebody younger. Right? It doesn't matter. Somebody who's going to take this thing serious. Somebody who's certain too. The Lord is into replacing people. You know, so crazy. My uh, my coach, right? Um, I'm, 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 I'm my basketball coach. He never used to say nothing to people. <laughs> if, if, if it was break time, he say, "Go home." That's it, bro. Go yeah. home, bro. Like he just come in there, bro. Yeah. He come back in the gym. Right. He saw, damn, what happened? Damn, where, where, where he going? Oh, oh, he go home. <laughs> That's embarrassing, bro. Yeah, yeah, but he don't say nothing, bro. And you jogging, you, you, cause look, before we, you know, before we even touch the rock. Before we even touch the basketball, y'all, when you get a test to it, we running. We ain't touching no ball unless we running. And we got to touch the lines, too. So you jogging, you ain't doing the full sprints and none of that. Oh, yeah, and if you don't make it back in time, we all got to go back on the line. So you're me so the point is, you're messing up what we got going. And the Lord is not going to continue to let anybody mess up what we got going. So he... In return, it's just going to re replace you for somebody that's going to keep the business going. Because this is a business that we're into. Right? You know how you invest in your business? We, this is a business that we're investing into. And if you're messing everything up, then you got to get let go. Because you're stopping progress. We try to constantly abound in this. Not draw back and then abound and draw back. Then, oh, bro, we trying to push forward. So if you're not certain... Then you running for no reason. You might as well just stop running then. Cause if I know I ain't gonna, if I ain't gonna win, I'm gonna just stop. Right? You you, you got some? Yeah, this is the parable of the talent. Come. Uh, Matthew twenty five and twenty eight. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which have ten talents. Yeah, and this is talking about this this is wicked and slothful servant that your house I was rebuking, man. Cause he took that one talent. That one time, come on, bro. You got one. You got. You had one job. Right, right, right. You had one job, right. and you couldn't even complete that. Right. You had one job, bro. You had one talent. You telling me you couldn't go and flip that? You took it and you put it in a napkin and you put it under the earth. Okay, good. Why would he say? Go ahead. Uh, verse twenty nine. For unto every one that hath shall be given. Mm -hmm. And he shall have an abundance, mm -hmm. but from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he had. God, go ahead. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. Hey, that's some of the lake of fire. The unprofitable servant. So you want to be profitable in this thing, okay? You don't want to be unprofitable because what do you do? See, and that that's a precept for Matthew five that talks about ye are the salt of the earth. And if the salt have lost his, his his savior, what good is he? That that's the true understanding of it. Not if I can I can dunk a basketball. That doesn't make any sense. That's the true understanding of that. It says that he's unprofitable. So if you don't got the savior, you don't got the savior, right? Which is the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. What good? What good is you? You just gonna be cast out in the outer darkness. God, uh, keep going in that. Come. And well, there's gonna get that. I know, you, I know you holding. Anybody else holding something? Come, go ahead. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth mm -hmm. when the Son of Man shall come in His glory. Mm -hmm. And all the holy angels with them, mm -hmm. then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations. He shall separate them one from another, and as a sheep, sh and as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Um, what verse uh, you at? Uh, verse thirty-three. Verse thirty-three. Go where it says you got Matthew twenty-five, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go where it says, jump up to verse 24. Verse 24. Because I, I thought that was, that was later on. Oh. Yeah, jump down to verse 24. Come on, Matthew 25 to 24. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man. Yeah, austere. Go ahead. Reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strolled. Go ahead. And I was afraid. And when it hid thy talent in the earth, lo, 
Yo, there are no heads that is done. You 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 just you just don't do stuff like right, that. Right, 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 right. You don't take this truth and you hide it. Come. Alright. That's something that you do not do. And I wish I was talking about that in Matthew the fifth chapter. Right? No man that lighted the candle put it under a bushel, but put it on a candlestick so it give a light to everybody in the house. That goes that that correlates with that. Go ahead, Ark. That's a lot, but I may have a point, right? He said he knew that the Lord was an austere man. So you gotta think. If you know this man is serious, not playing no games, and he said, feed my sheep, then you must be just sitting there trying to lie to his face, thinking that, you know, I ain't got to go feed the sheep. I thought you was an austere man. So if you think I'm an austere man, what sense does it make for you to go against what I told you right. to do? Yeah, yeah. You got, guys, you got guys like that, man. All right? Oh, you dropped it? It's cool. Um, oh, you, you asked something else? Oh, yeah, you kind of, you were talking about unprofitable. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the Messiah in 4 and 4? Four and five, then perfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat. Ye meat for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Real meat for nothing, bro. Right, 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 right. Just for nothing. What do you do? Something that that's of no use. Throw it in the trash. Or you, you just you just throw it out. And guess what? You don't ever see it again either. Right. So that's what. So that's what guys are going to be. You're just going to be tossed, tossed out. Right. All right. Because like I said earlier, this is a business, man. And what do you do with a business? You take risk for a business, right? People ask us, what is our plan B? Damn, I ain't got a plan B. Uh, you know, no. this, 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 is my pl this is my plan Z, right? Because nothing comes after Z, right? I don't got no backup plan. This is the plan right here, right? Now, we may have other duties and other, you know, other crap, other vain things that we got to do in the world, right? Nothing but vanity, as Solomon would, would, would say. This is what's profitable. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't got I don't got nothing else going. Yeah. Right? right? So you gotta put all your eggs into one basket. See what people is worried about is the scoffers. Mm -hmm. But you can't pay attention pay attention to the scoffers. Matter of fact, you read in Sirach, I think it's our, the uh twenty seventh chapter, all the scoffers are gonna die. Every everybody that done that done scoffed at his word, they're all going to die either way. They're going to be they're going to be proven wrong at, at the end of the day. You got a lot of people that's going to fold to the opinions mm -hmm. of this world and all this other crap, man. Come, on. yeah, bro. Yeah. But you shouldn't fold to the opinions of this man. At the end of the day, these people are bugged up, bugged out, bugged out here. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden just 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 said mm -hmm. men men can go in a woman's bathroom. Right. Sure. How many how many days this guy been in office? Oh, he's probably been a week now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe six days. The man been in office. I see you know I seen a post. What has he done for you so called blacks and Latinos yet? Mm. Now somebody said, well, you got black transgenders too. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, all right, cool. But but what about what about the heterosexual black and black and Latinos? How about them? What do you do for them? Nothing. Where are you preach a lot? Yeah, this is second edge is 15. Start at verse 3. He man, says, That's spirit, the spirit, bro. That's spirit. <laughs> man, yeah, that's spirit. That's spirit. Huh? Man, yeah, that's great. That's great. Can you yeah. just look it up? And, and, it can do it. Can do it. <laughs> see that? Yeah, that's the spirit, bro. Uh, hey, you see that? Good. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Second edge is 15, verse 3. He says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Yeah, that's the, that's the same thing the Lord told to um, Jeremiah. Because remember, Jeremiah was like, damn, I can't speak. I'm just a child. But the Lord said, yo, don't say that. Don't say that you're a child. But I'll put my words in your mouth. Right. And you shall say everything that I, I that I will tell thee. And don't be afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Right? He told the same thing to Ezekiel Ezekiel as well. Go ahead. <laughs> he said, I'm going to have to make your forehead strong. Yeah. 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 Okay. Exactly. And, and that's what you have to do sometimes out during the highways and bowies, man. You know, because, you know, just recently, brothers were there. I had to curse out this damn grandma, man. Oh, and she yeah, come yeah. up, came up talking about some. What she said? Oh, I should be nice to all people. Oh, yeah. Woman, if you know, if you know, if you don't get out of here, sweetheart. Yeah, oh yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, she hated team like that. Yo, man, if you, if you if you don't get out of here, you don't know what's going on around here, man. Right? You're still stuck in. You're you're, you're still your head is still up. The so called white man's behind. Right. So stuff like that, we shouldn't be afraid of what these people say, because these people are bucked up at the end of the day. These people are still relying on Egypt. 
Okay. Man, so what's that precept? Isaiah 36? Isaiah 30. Yeah, Isaiah 30. And oh, what? you talking about? Yeah, yeah, the the yeah, Isaiah 36 and 6. Yeah, Isaiah 36 and 6. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity right. of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, so he's basically saying, don't let the gainsayers, the scoffers, uh, you know, basically trouble your thoughts, man. Right, because, you know, as a prophet, as a servant, as a teacher, you know, or even as a, as a student, right? Uh, and it's true. I mean, you can't allow these the incredulities trouble you, man, because like Peter said, in the last days, there will be scoffers, you know, so we've got to be prepared for it and have that mental fortitude granted to us by the spirit in order to have a have a hard forehead against them, man, you know, because that's what uh, Yahweh Shao said in Luke 18, verse 8. Oh, real fast. Um, we go to the word for incredulity means unbelief, right? And all these people out here has an unbelieving spirit. Right, and that spirit is contagious, more contagious than the damn coronavirus. Mm -hmm. It's easily get that spirit of unbelief on you, because that's what the rest of these people have. The rest of the people have a spirit of fear. The rest of these people have, doesn't really have an outgoing, you know, type of spirit. Right, you can be happy in your own mood, and people will be looking at you like, man, mm -hmm. why is this nigga happy? You know, you know, trying to ruin what you got going. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know, just because, you know, you're through with me, you got to try to bring me down. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, they don't, don't get mad at me because I'm just in this upbeat, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, pep in my step spirit. And you got this woe is me spirit. People will actually try, like, yo, man, 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 F is this nigga so happy about? Yeah. F is this nigga, you ever had somebody do that to you? If you smiling for it. Why you smiling? Yeah, like, damn, like, I can't be happy now. I just gotta be walking around through like all the rest of you. Yeah, Come, but hey, bro, we could, but we shouldn't let that hinder us, man. God. Right? Because all these people in the world, like I said, is unfaithful, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then, bro, you, bro, you can make the point afterwards. Go ahead. God. Yeah, this second edge is 2, verse 27. He says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be married and have abundance. Mm. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, mm. saith the Lord. Yeah, right? Just like the brother said, man. Like some people, they just want to be Grinches, man. Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> take your merriness away. Yeah. You know, but the Lord says that, he, hey, even in uh, John 16, you know, uh, Yahweh shot, um, he told his disciples, he's like, listen, you're basically going to have a day. When when others they're gonna be laughing right. and you're gonna be uh, you know uh -huh. sad, but I'm gonna yeah. flip it around, uh -huh. you know, and then they're not gonna be able to take your joy away, yeah. man. You know, because yeah. we have we truly have a joy that that's found through these scriptures, man, that nobody can take away. Mm -hmm. Our parents done tried it, our friends done tried it, mm -hmm. you know, our, our spouses done tried it, but look what we still at. You know, you yeah, know, yo, listen, bro. I be in the whip. I be good to my yo. I be having yeah. that joy, yeah. happy. So I know people like, what the hell is this? Yo, why, 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 the hell, why the hell is this nigga so happy? Yeah, I ain't said in the world. You know, like, listen, I gotta be happy about it. Yeah, right, you know? Yeah, right, like, right, right. Like, you know, uh, these other people, like, bro, you can look at, you look on just on the countenance of these people, man. They they, they so sad and, right. you know, they frowning, unless they're doing some wickedness. But other than that, they, man, they frowning and all those things, bro. It's like, damn, that's just so crazy. Like, it's rare that you, like, of uh, 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 find a upbeat person right, in this right, world nowadays. Right, right. Everybody else is just so angry and stuff. You know, that's why you got everybody is, 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 is murdering each other now. Cause everybody's just so angry. God, everybody's just so angry, bro. You know? We got Isaac Spirit. He who last last. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. God. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. But go ahead, I, you know, I know it's broken waiting for me. No, it, it, no that's beautiful. I'm raising my spirit up. You hear me? But just like the scriptures say, uh, unstable man is well, a double man, man is unstable yeah. all his ways, right? So, a point you just made a lot of people bugging out these last days getting close to Passover because they are double minded. A lot oh, of them man. still are halfway in the world. Right. And brothers like us, just like me, I'm gonna uh, keep it 100 with you. The same tried to jump on me, right? But my mind said, Where else am I gonna go? <laughs> what do I have besides this? Yeah, like, Nothing, and they yeah, can't be grounded. Six, yeah. Yeah. They oh, kept me grounded in this thing, man. So that was a great point you made. Like, a lot of people be double-minded. They got st stuff to go to in the world and all that. But us brothers right here, what else do we have? You know what I mean? Right, right. 
We done gave up everything. Kind of. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> <we ain't, laughs> you want that? Oh, you got that in John 6? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, bring it up. With Peter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the book of John, like the brother said. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 66. Uh, it says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with them. Right, because contrary to popular belief, let me just bring it up real fast. Yeah, how was shot just ain't have 12. Disciples, she actually had more. We can bring it out real fast. This Luke 10, Luke 10 and 1. Yeah, it says, After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place where he, whether he himself would come. So you see that your house, I had 70 other disciples as well. And they all left them. When you read John, when John the sixth chapter is a real funny chapter. It's a real hilarious chapter, right? Which I I, I reference it a lot. The scriptures uh, refers to Yahweh Shai, that rock of of offense. So he told his disciples to eat my uh, my flesh and, and drink and drink my blood, right? And they said, "What the hell? What the hell is this guy talking about cannibalism?" So they all got offended and they left. So now this is just to give you a, a, a context of what's going on here. This is why Peter said what he said. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it says, um, verse 67, Then said, Yahweh shout unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Mm -hmm. Then Simon Peter Which, answered, you know, Yahweh shout didn't leave none of them. Right. Yahweh shout could have been on his lonely, right? John the Baptist, mm -hmm. he was he was, he was dolo, right? John the Baptist was dolo. We know Yahweh shout was more powerful than John the Baptist. Yahweh shout could have rocked up by himself, you know? But... Yahweh Shah was like, damn, y'all won't eat too? Because you know Yahweh Shah was still in human uh human flesh, right? He was actually a man. Not like the Christian church teach. He was he was a man, so he also had feelings too. Man's like, damn, y'all, y'all niggas gonna dip out on me too. But, but go ahead. Is exactly that, that was his homies. Go ahead. And he said, Would you also go away? Yeah. Verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Yeah, Lord, uh, where, where the hell we gonna go? Uh, <laughs> Where are we gonna go? That's like that's like your mom kicked you out of five years old. Like damn, like where am I gonna go? Go ahead. It says thou hast the words of eternal life. You see that? Ooh. Exactly what the brother just said, bro. Right here in the scripture, in the, in, the, in the scripture, thou has the words to eternal life. So where am I gonna go? Out back into perdition, God. which perdition means destruction. Cause you know if you draw back, you 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 hold this on. Oh no no. no. Yeah, get Matthew twelve and um. Matthew 12 and um, 45. If you draw back, you're going to take on more demons that you had on you from before. Right? You got a precept right out. Nah, no, that's cool. Y'all want to on a little bit. Oh, gosh. Yeah, man. The spirit changing a lot. Yeah. You know? Matthew 12 and... Let me see. Okay, start at verse uh, 43. Matthew 12 and 43. Yep. Come when the unclean spirit is going out of a man. Right, so the Bible says when an unclean spirit has gone out of a, uh, out of a man, that's talking about the demon that you had on you prior to coming into the truth. Because once you come into the truth, the demons like smoking weed, uh, adultery, all those things, those uh, come out of you, right? Some 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 brothers, it, it, never, it never left them. Like you had this one bug out two years ago his YouTube channel name was X Sodomite for oh, yeah, your yeah, yeah. Ooh. you know, and he was a he was a damn my sissy in the world, huh. right? But he came to the truth, and he still and, and he told us if he relaxed back at the home. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> listen, bro, <laughs> listen, X Sodomite for y'all If you watching this, there's no such thing as relapse. Then look, the dude really made a video though. Right, Sit right, down. Right, right. YouTube name X Sodomite for your house shy. Yeah. Bro, there's no relapsing. How do you, bro, mm -hmm. that demon never left you. Right. It never left. So some brothers or, or false brother, that demon never left them, bro. It's, it just stayed with them. Right? Go ahead. And that right. can be with anything. Smoking weed. You know, people say, damn, I relapse from the smoke of weed. Nigga, you never, the demon never left you. The yeah, demon was still on you. Yeah, you, you wanted to still do it. Damn, bro, I slipped up and ate some shrimp. The demon never left you. Yeah, I slipped up and ate some shrimp. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> no, bro. It never left you, bro. <laughs> it never left you, bro. Let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? It, it just never left you, bro. You wasn't fully converted, you know? 
and you thought, you know, although some, I mean, it's not really a bad thing, you know, sometimes, because, you know, you, your ass, you just wasn't ready, and you thought you was ready. But it ain't no relapse into being a damn homosexual, though, bro. No, like, you you, you just wanted to be homosexual. But go ahead. Con. Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. <laughs> Con, when the unclean spirit is going out of a man, he walketh through dry places. Yeah, so this is, this, this is the demon now, because demons love um, terrorizing people, mm -hmm. right? We're actually going to be putting demons on the heathens in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, that's why that's why that's why the uh, demons <laughs> that's why the demons uh, when uh, when um, Yahweh Shah was about to cast his, cast the spirit out, the demons was like, oh, why, what has thou to do with us, Yahweh Shah of Nazareth? Mm -hmm. Are thou comes to destroy us before the time? Right, because the demons are happy when they when they overtake people. Right. That's their job. It tells you in Psalm 39 that they appease him that had made them. Right. So they're happy to do those things. So they did that. They, they said that because they'll be out of a job. But but the, but but we're going to put Satan on the damn Elamite woman. Yeah. Right? The damn Elamite woman, right? To to, to make, to uh, to, to put hell on, on, on the Elamite man. Right? But that's another topic for a different, uh, for another uh, time. Go ahead, Doc. Come verse 44. Then he said, I will return into my house. Yeah, I'm just going to go return mm -hmm. unto the nigga I came from. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he still had the desire to do all these worldly things. Right? right? What, while I was, mm -hmm. the demon would have never went back in there. Right, right. right? If you were truly converted, the only, way that, the only way the demons would come back is if you entertain the demon. Right? right? If, if, you tempt, if, if, you, if you go ahead and tempt the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let's just say you, you, you struggled with smoking weed. Yo ass talking about something. No, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just eat it or I'm gonna just drink it. Come on, bro. You know you struggle with it. You know the next, the next step. The, the next step, you just roll, you walk talking about some pasta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a little earth say. Yeah. The next thing you, you doing? <laughs> bro, are you, are you kidding me? You're an idiot. You, you was, you was tempting the Lord. Yeah, yeah, flee, yeah, flee from it. Why, why would you? Well, you you're supposed to build up your um your spirit first. Then you can go ahead and you know, you know, say if you want to, you know, you know, you know, eat it or drink it, and then go ahead and do that. But you know, if you, if you struggle with it, why would you go ahead and even tempt tempt the Lord like that, man? You damn destroying your own self, right? Go ahead, Doc. Done. And when he has come, he finds like like like. Come on, though, for real though, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you understand that? Like, if you know, if you know, like, you, you, if you know, uh, 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 I don't know, um, I don't know. Is is this is this little shorty you like? Mm -hmm. And you know, when you go over her house, you gonna wanna. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Right. Why 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 would you go over there? <coughs> you're, you're you're just you're just tempting your own self. Like you're your own self. Like Joseph, yeah, Joseph, oh, he, he just, yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, he left his coat, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, kind of, kind of. Good, kind. And when he is, and when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Yeah. Then he goeth and taketh himself seven other spirits <laughs> more wicked than himself, damn. And, and they enter <laughs> and dwell in there. Oh, damn. So not only that, that old spirit or that old demon that you so called got over. Came back to you, but but seven, which is just a complete number. We don't know how much right, it is. Right, right. Could be twenty, right? Right. Other demons come and play go ass. So now you a damn homosexual. You you smoke weed, all those things. Other demons hop on you. That's what happens if you draw back and you go into the world, man. So is that the risk that you want to take? That, that I mean, that's risky. That's risky. Yeah, that's risky. Because the Lord could raise you to a level, right? As soon as you look back, now that demon, that demon that left, he know you were, you got raised to a level. He might, you know, come back with a load of demons. You know what I'm saying? Because he know he got battle. You know? yeah. So that yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the worst thing, man. Yo, like that's the worst thing. Hey, just. And if you if you if you get if you notice you when the Lord is increasing you, you know your knowledge and all that stuff. You better be asking for the Lord for strength too, man. Uh -huh. 
because you know with that comes with big responsibility. Satan's gonna come at you harder because uh, he's gonna uh, be like, I want to take down the top dog. Uh, 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 I want to take down the top dog. You know, you know the brothers that you see that is out there teaching the word with a with a mighty uh, of a violent spirit. They go through things, man. Oh. All right, and you will never know neither. They, they behind the camera because you think you see a joke right. and nothing. Right. You don't know what that man go through yeah, when, he, when he goes home, man. He goes, he goes through some things, and you would have never know, okay. right? Saying, say you want to, say want to attack him, right? Mm -hmm. Why you think you wanted to attack Joe, Joe, Joe so much? Because mm -hmm. Joe, Joe was, uh, hey, he had a heavy spirit on him, man. Right. Whoever Joe is now. He had a heavy spirit on him. Yeah. So Sam was like, yeah, I want him. Because he because he was uh, the, like the top guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No kind of bring it out. Bishop from the even, oh, I'm about to say, even y'all was shot. Look, Satan Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? He didn't send his right. little... Oh, little yeah, little yeah. Himself. Yeah, say himself came. Yeah, right. say, that's yeah, that's awesome. a good point. Yeah. Say himself came came to y'all was shot. Oh, yeah, let me get him. Because right. if Satan would have got y'all was shot... It would have been over with. Right. It would have been it would have been over with, bro. Alright. Y'all start had to send you back again. Mm -hmm. Cause you done messed up as Adam. Right. You done messed up as uh uh, uh Solomon. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna have to send you back again. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah, now you messed up as Yahweh right. shot now. Now everybody's gonna be like, oh you see, you saw the first see, see, we told y'all he wasn't the one. We told y'all. Cause you know, you know, people are always looking looking for your downfall, right? right? People are always looking for your downfall. You you read you read that all you read that all throughout the gospels. Yes, what it's saying, the scribes at first ask the question just to or or just to observe them, just just to see. Oh see, 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 um, you messed up. You messed up. You got people like that, bro. People are people are like that. They're they just they're, they're they may be on your YouTube channel or your Instagram or your Facebook with first in the page. Just, <laughs> just, bro, bro, just, <laughs> just watching to see if, if, yeah. if you if you fall or something. Mm. Just looking in the bushes with their damn what's that what's that thing called? The binoculars. binoculars. <laughs> when you gonna give up? Yeah, yeah, just just checking, bro. You got people like that, bro. You yeah. make spectacles. Yeah, bro. So so when you do mess up or something, like yes, you see, right. see, got him. Yeah. You got people like that out here, man. And, then, and you know, hey man, this is how the world is, man. Yeah. You got some hating ass people out here. Yeah, That's how it is. But you know, you just gotta, you just gotta overcome it, though. Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. Precept from the brother, uh, Proverbs twenty six and eleven. As the dog returned to his vomit, so a fool returned to his father. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You just going back, just going back to the fathers, man. As a dog was going eating your own vomit, it's stupid. Okay. You know, you just put in those toxins. And those wastes that your body uh, that's not conducive to your body back into yourself. Right. So whatever, so that folly which wasn't conducive for your spirit, you're bringing it back into you. That's the stupid, right? You got some? Yeah, kind of going to the precept for uh, Matthew twenty-four and twelve. Um, Second Peter's two and twenty. For if after they have escaped. The pollutions of this world through the knowledge of the Lord and Shavi Yahushua Mashiach, they are entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Yeah, you got it. For, it kind of, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness mm. than after they have known it and turned from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to a true proverb a dog is turned back to his vomit. You know, basically just. You know, reiterating uh, Proverbs uh, 26 and 11. You know, it, it's better for you not to even to come in this thing, commit yourself to the truth, actually, you know, try to be diligent and go out on the highways and byways, and then actually fall back out. Your 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 end is going to be worse for you than it was for a guy, a two-third guy in the world that just didn't even know about this thing. Yeah, yeah, scripture, yeah scripture says, um, Scripture says the ones that didn't know the will... Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. I think it's Luke 12. Okay. Yeah, Luke 12. The one that didn't know the will of his master, he will be get, he will be beaten with fewer stripes. Yeah. But but the unfaithful and wicked one will be beaten with more stripes. Uh -huh. Cause he knew because he knew his, his master's will. So it you know it's different, right? Uh -huh. You know, it's just like, you know, uh -huh. you know, you know, you know, 
your kids. Right. Right. The older, come on now. Right. right. You know better. Always get it worse. Yeah. So so you're just gonna get it uh, the worst. The younger one might get a few uh, slaps, right. but the oldest one is gonna get more. Right. right? Man, you um, yeah, 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 bring it up. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. It says, For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. Yeah, so like exactly what it says, man, it's, it's impossible for you to come into this truth, right? You being partakers of the divine nature, you had the Holy Spirit imparted upon you, you actually taste his word, and you taste uh, the future rulership that there is to be, you know, and then you just fall away, right? right? He says that you actually crucify your Yahweh afresh, leaving him to an open shame, right? Your Shah is not a man to be mocked. So what do you think? <laughs> You're gonna be the one getting mocked at, man, right. Right. you know? So it's that simple, but once again, as, as the brother said, man, like this is Passover season, man. So the Lord, he started his judgments where? At the house of God first. Mm. All right? Let me get this. This is uh, 1 Peter 4. Hey, just to add, we know the Lord ain't coming back to die again on the cross. Exactly. Right? So you threw. Uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? So, yeah, man, like it plainly states, the judgment of the Most High, it starts where? With his people, you know? Just like uh, any man that, that has a household, who do you think he's going to, you know, punish first? His kids or his friend's kids? I mean, his kid's friend, you know? That was caught in some mischief. He's going to punish his kids first. He's going to get his house went over first. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to punish the outsiders who, who, who had, uh, you know, any type of dealings mm -hmm. along with that, uh, with that, with that crime, mm -hmm. you know? So, so that's why we see uh, a lot of the brothers just getting in hell right now, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord really yeah, dealing with us. Oh, I get first Corinthians, um, first Corinthians five, uh, start verse six. Verse verse six. Five or six. Yeah, look, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Con, uh, this is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter nine, verse five. Yeah. He said, and to uh, and to the others, he said, in my in my uh, in my hit in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have, have ye pity. Slaves utterly, old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come come not near any man upon whom uh, is the mark, and begin at the uh, sanctuary. Then they began uh, at, the, uh, at the ancient men, so you see that? So it said which were before the house. So so you see that? So it said it started at my house. Uh -huh. And that's talking about the guys that knows that they're Israelites too, man. Uh -huh. Right? So you have guys that's gonna have this that spiritual mark in the Hebrew, which is the Hebrew word Thawah. Thawah, which means exempt from judgment. Uh -huh. So you got you got guys that are exempt from judgment. And the truth, you got guys that are that that are not right, right? and that correlates with the scripture in First Peter that the judgment must start with the, at the house of the Most High. Judgment will start there first. Why? Because we know because we know the Lord's will, right? But my turn. Oh yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, and, and that's a beautiful precept, like because uh, he says when he begins at the beginning of sanctuary, he says then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And that's exactly why, like the older people in our generation, or the, like our parents, our grandparents, hey man, the most high done got them bugged out. Because <laughs> he began with their ass first. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I got three seconds. Come on, go ahead. Yeah, this is Sirach 26 and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third makes me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepares such a one for the sword. <laughs> you know, so just like Shadrach says, man, hey, this makes him angry. You know, uh, yeah, 26 and uh, what was it, 28, yeah, 26 and 28. Yeah, so just like Shadrach says, man, that makes him angry, you know? 
that makes him angry. So how much more Yahweh shot, right? The, the the wisest man there is, you know, to, to actually see someone turn from righteousness back into perdition. Right. He's got a sword with your name on it, right? <laughs> In the form of ICBM missile. Come on. You know? Go ahead, bro. Come on. First Corinthians 5 and 6. Yeah. Your glory, flock, it is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. So the scripture says, uh, Know ye not that a little, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. So what is leaven? Leaven is yeast, right? right. So if a little leaven drops, and let's just say whatever you're baking, right? That little that little amount of yeast is gonna let the whole thing rise up, man. Right? Which this leaven, you see, Paul, you see, Paul, he was he was nice with the saying. See, that's how you know uh, he, mm -hmm. Paul is a Benjamite. Because Benjamin always got a, a proverb, bro. Kind of, okay. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Benjamin always got something, right. you know, wise to say. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So so Paul is likening this leaven unto basically a uh, 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 moral corruption, sin, right? Read verse 7. Come, verse 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven. See that? Purge therefore out the old leaven. Now, well, now what would the leaven be? Like I said, let's go into work for leaven. This is metaphorical of inventory mental and moral corruption see that moral corruption so basically how you act all right you got to purge all the all the corruption that you got in you right right becoming could becoming a new man you got to purge that old man out go ahead God. as ye are unleavened mm -hmm. where even hamashiach are passover Read it again, I right, verse 7 again. Come on, verse 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. That ye may be a new lump, mm -hmm. a new person. Come on. Right? Go ahead. As ye are unleavened, mm -hmm. for even Hamashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Go ahead. Verse 8. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Yeah, so this is going into the feast because, you know, like I said, Passover is coming up, right? We And we got some trimming to do, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we got so, some trimming that we have to do. Hold on, we got some trimming to do. Right, go ahead. Not with old leaven. Yeah, man, not with old leaven. So don't keep, mm -hmm. so don't keep the Passover with old leaven. Right, right. That old nigga in you. Go ahead. Come. Mm -hmm. Just like it. Mm -hmm. Not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness. See that? Let you know where the leaven is. Uh -huh. Malice and wickedness. Right. So that a little wickedness. Mm -hmm can spread. It can spread throughout your whole entire body, your whole entire spirit. And then therefore, your whole spirit, your whole uh, body, right, Re reaps of what? Wickedness. So you gotta purge, you, you, gotta, you gotta purge, you gotta purge that out. Let's just say you buy a container of strawberries, right? Mm -hmm. And you see it got that, uh, what's that, what's that fuzzy stuff on the car again? Get a mold. You wanna, you wanna take that strawberry out. Because yeah, 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 yeah. if you don't, the whole mold is going to spread onto the whole entire strawberries, right? right? So, whatever whatever demon you got on you, you got you got you got purge that out of you right. before it's, before uh, you know it spreads uh, throughout yourself and throughout the whole entire body. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Right. Neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, mm -hmm. but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And uh, see, sincerity uh, and uh, truth, man. That's the whole thing about this truth. Uh, the whole reason why you're in it, you're supposed to be sincere, man. Uh, right? And what sincere means what? Purity, uh, pure heart. Uh, right? You got a precept? Yeah, it goes into like the, uh, the context of the uh, topic we're talking about, like Persian, like all, all the wickedness they got. I don't know if y'all pulled this, but it's in uh, Revelation 3 and 15 and 16. Yeah, uh, that, uh, It says, I know thy works, that thou yeah. art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot, verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my, out of my mouth. Yeah, which we ain't going to the word for lukewarm. Lukewarm means lack of zeal, right? And you being in that, you know, you know, you 
being complacent, mm -hmm. wanting to be in that same wicked spirit mm -hmm. that you're running, that's a sign of you having lack of zeal for the most high. Right. And what the Lord is going to do, he's going to do, you're going to hawk spit you out. Right. right? And like I said earlier, earlier in the video, hey, what's the time stamp on that video? 50. 50, 50 minutes? Yeah. This for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, like I said about 30 minutes ago, <laughs> the Lord is into spinning people out. That's what he 50 minutes? Damn, bro. You only pulled like two precepts. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 6. No one did. Sorry, what? Romans 6 and 6. Oh, Romans 6 and 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with uh -huh. him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. You see that? That we should not serve sin. A lot of people are servants of sin, man. Right? Like this, uh, like this one person, she was telling me, she was watching like a documentary on gangbanging or whatnot, and they just, and they, and they just love to do it. Like, they just love doing it. They're servants of sin. But, we're, but we can't be like people like that, man. Being servants of sin. That's that's just, man. That's really disgusting. Once you once you think about it, you know, you love sin that much that you gotta be a servant to it, yeah. right? But read that uh, from the top, bro. This is the book of Romans. It's a lot of lamb. It's a lot of lamb on that. This is the book of Romans, chapter six, verse six. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Yeah, the old man. Get uh, Ephesians four and um, twenty two. Yeah, the old man is crucified with how is shot. See, this is this is how you know. What Yahweh Shai did. Yahweh Shai didn't die to do away with the law, statutes, and commandments. Uh -huh. He just didn't do that. This letting you know that the uh, that the ordinances that was contrary to us in the book of Colossians is dealing with our sins, man. Because what's the old man? Sinful nature. Mm -hmm. So then, what's sin? Transgressing the law. Mm -hmm. So what would be the new man then? Not, not yeah, somebody that's following the, the laws. Because what laws is there? Just love? <laughs> I can say I love you all goddamn day. Right. But how am I showing forth love? Right. Uh, uh huh. Oh, oh, brother in Christ, I love you. That's it? Sleep with your wife. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I can sleep, but I can sleep with his wife. Right. Well, you, 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 what, you, what type of sense does that make, bro? So that's talking about you striving to follow. Because the Lord gave us laws, man. Right. right? Lord gave us laws to abide by. I'm reading the laws, and some of these laws are, are blowing me away, bro. Because. Yeah. Bro, you know on the top, on, on the top, on the top of, 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 of your roof, every man should have a railing around it, man, mm -hmm. that prevents a person to to slip and fall. Yeah. Do you know how smart and righteous that is? Do you know how smart and righteous that is, bro? Mm -hmm. The Most High is perfect. Right. And you want to do away with that? Let's say you just chill on your deck, and. You know how a deck is. Let's just say you just had this part. Mm -hmm. Somebody can slip and fall and, and, and die. Mm -hmm. But you got to build a, a railing around it so you chilling. Oh, yeah. Kind yeah, of, you kind chilling of. and somebody mm -hmm. can't, can't, can't easily fall over it. You know how perfect that is, bro? You said mm -hmm. wisdom do it in your house. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> you ain't the church want to do away with that, bro. You got a law in the scriptures that says, right? Uh, once you're uh, gathering all your grapes and you drop some, don't go, don't go and pick them up. But leave it for the strangers or for the widows or the poor, right. you, so 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 that they can come and eat. I always want to do away with do away with that, bro. You know what that teach? They teach you not to be selfish, man. Uh, it's stingy. Right. Well, so yeah, why would you want to do away with that? Laws of the Lord is perfect, bro. Right. I ain't never read so much perfect laws in my life, bro. Like, damn, that makes sense. I mean, sense to do that, bro. See? But you got a Christian church wanting to turn away with that. That can literally change somebody's life, bro. See how perfect that is? So go ahead and, and, and finish it off. Now we got running back from the top again. God, this is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Yep. That the body of sin might be destroyed. Yeah, that the body of sin may be destroyed. But that's what Yahweh Shah came to do. Yahweh Shah came to destroy sin. Go ahead. Well, why? Because Yahweh Shah bought, I mean, Yahweh Shah actually bought it in the world as Adam. So what he came to do, he came to do away with what 
he uh 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 brought in. Yeah. Right, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. That henceforth we should not serve sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for henceforth that we should not serve sin. Yeah. Right, because you got a lot of people that's that slaves to sin, man. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's like like we're perfect because we're because because we're stones trying to be healed every day, mm -hmm. right? Trying to trying to purge things that we got going. Right, every single day, trying to be made perfect. <clears throat> but at least we're striving for it. See, we're striving for uh, 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 for a righteousness. We're striving to be perfect. People make an excuse, though. Mm -hmm. Right, finding an excuse. What's that, Sirach 32? Mm -hmm. 32. Yeah, mm -hmm. finding an excuse, a sinful man. Mm -hmm. We don't try to make excuses. We say, oh, man, we met, I, I messed up. You know, I'm going to try. I'm going to try again. Mm -hmm. That's the mentality that you got to have, man. It's like riding a bike, mm -hmm. Right. When you fall off, what are you gonna do? You are you gonna are you gonna cry about it, or are you gonna hop back on? Uh, right? Is, is uh, that it? Yeah, verse seven is just reiterating. This okay, Con. Uh, so you you had something? Con. Yes, yeah, Galatians two verse seventeen says, "But if while we seek to be justified by Hamashiach, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ? I mean Hamashiach, the minister of sin? God forbid." Which minister means servant? Right. So is your house out of serving of sin? Uh, it's a God forbid, go ahead. If I build again the things which I destroyed. If I build again the things which I destroyed, what is the things that, that, that I destroyed? Sin. If I build it up again, go ahead. I make myself a transgressor. Why? Because here you are sinning again. Right? You bring it, you bring in you bring in that old man back again, which was supposed to be purged out. Right? So, oh yeah, hold on. So if so if going back to first Corinthians the fifth chapter. If you ain't got, you know, those things purged, uh, purged out of you, hey, man, you shouldn't even come to the Passover, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Try again next year, mm -hmm. if there is one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's, that's if there is one, you got to try again next year. Right? Because it says if you eat up the Passover unworthily, you, uh, you uh, I, I forgot what it said. You basically, um, you, you, you. You basically damned yourself, yeah, right. essentially. I got it right. Gone, yeah, gone, good, yeah. And it's Romans 14, 23. It's Romans 14? Yeah, it's <coughs> one of them. Oh, okay. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. You got it. All right, and so we, obviously, not, Paul was talking about, you know, carnal food, but this is, you know, this is a spiritual setting that we're eating at. You know, we're eating this spiritual bread that Yahweh Shah has obviously prepared for. So if you eat, even to eat this, Without having faith, right? You you hear the word preach unto you and you don't mix it with faith. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, yeah, get that. What's right, that? Hebrews, Hebrews 4 and 2. 2. Yep, yep. I right, get that. You know? And it's Hebrews 4 and 2. Yeah, man. How, how, how you have to Kool Aid without sugar? <laughs> Come on now. Go ahead. Uh, he says, For unto us was the gospel preached mm -hmm. as well unto them. Mm -hmm. But the word preached. Did not profit them. Yeah, but the word preached didn't profit them. Go ahead. Why not? Not being mixed with faith. See that? You got to be mixed with faith. Right? That's the only way that you're going to uh, uh, believe. See, like, people think we, we, and this is this, this is the thing with Israel, man. Israel will get on your ass because you only got a, a, a piece of fringes on your garment. Right here, go right here. Uh, okay, let's do this prayer. <laughs> See, that's not how, that's not how coming into this thing start, bro. Yeah. It's faith first, man. You got to believe that you're an Israelite to even uh, profess it. Uh, uh, is it. Right? Uh, yeah, bro. You got to be mixed in with faith. You just don't jump right into it. Oh, what your friends is? You're <laughs> wicked. No, that, no, it doesn't go like that. Like, damn, can I, can I, like, can I believe first? <laughs> can I believe first? Like, you don't even know about anybody if I believe. So like, you got to believe first. That's what's going to profit you in the long run, that faith. Cause let's just say you know you know the market the beast comes down, and I said man I don't believe this anyway I'm gonna just go ahead and take the chip and I'm gonna be unprofitable. You have friends. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying it doesn't it doesn't matter. Cause I don't believe this thing anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I never believed. I was just a part of something, just be part of something. You got guys like that though. Cook yeah, huh? You got guys you know you know just eat just just eat, just eat some of the chicken wings, right? And then they drink some of your yarn. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he got niggas like that. Nigga with friends. Yeah. <laughs> nigga with friends. I bought my friends. Oh, cause and, and, and cause and cause uh brothers would give him money when they need it. That's why man, that's why nigga. Like he had this one nigga, I ain't gonna name, I ain't gonna put his name out there, 
But he told me he basically stuck around because of the brotherhood. Oh, really, nigga? Oh, the brotherhood. Because niggas giving you money, huh? And, and bro, that's what he told me. So he was a little too. He stopped believing, or maybe he never really believed in it. But he just stuck around because of the brotherhood. Bro, if I don't believe, I'm out. Uh, Dukes, you know. Right, right. I, I see y'all. If I don't believe, I'm out. I ain't, I ain't staying here wasting my time on what I can be doing if I don't believe. I'm out. If you don't believe, just bounce. You know? Now, I know I know me, bro. I'm just not going to stay something that I'm just not going to, you know, if I don't have no, you know, interest in. I ain't going to stick around. Like, it's like with a chick. You're going to stick around with the chick if you don't like her? Like, y'all, I'm out. Bounce. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, this a, oh, you had something? Yeah, oh, come on. Uh, this is uh, James 2 and 22. Yeah. It says, Seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works? Yeah, that's someone, um, Abraham, right? Con, mm -hmm. Was faith made perfect. Mm -hmm. So, just like brother was saying, you're doing something, you're doing works, but you don't believe it. Right. So, you don't have the faith in it. Come so, on. how is your faith even manifested or made perfect if you don't even believe it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like let's just say any of us truly doesn't, truly doesn't believe. This this is in vain. Exactly. Right. Right. Us sitting here, well, what is it, like an hour now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah us sitting here for an hour. If we truly don't believe the words that we're bringing out, then it's not going to profit us. Mm -hmm. You just did all this for no reason. Right. All right. For you sure. know? That's yeah. Working in vain. Yeah, in vain. Right. Right. Like, that's how you, that's how you work in a free, a free, free job. Yeah, free job. <laughs> Got it off of work, man. Eight yeah. hours. <laughs> no money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Volunteer. <laughs> you like being a volunteer worker. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Ye
trying to act like these souls are like possessions. Uh, they tried to lie. Yeah, they tried to lie. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they tried to put the death for that. Yeah, they